I grew up in Sonoma County in the western region of the county uh, where a lot of the really great Chardonnay comes from. It's a cool climate growing region and my family comes from a long line of dairy farmers. So I kind of looked around as I grew up and said well this is such a wonderful place to live. It's, it's more or less a piece of heaven and what is something that I could get my hands on and actually be really good at? And one day I kind of had a conversation with my dad and it was, well, why don't you think about going into, you know, into, into the vineyard side of the world? You know, you really like farming, you really like being outside, you're, you're kind of a, a science-based guy anyway, and you like to build stuff with your hands. So I kind of tested those waters. I took a class at Santa Rosa Junior College, before, and then I ended up really liking it. Um, I continued my education. I went down to Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo, and I enrolled myself in the science program there at Cal Poly. I went through the wine and viticulture program with a concentration in viticulture. After graduation, I was hired up in Sonoma Valley working for another wonderful family winery. And in 2008, I was hired here to work at Jordan Vineyard Winery as a viticulturist. The role of viticulturist really has two sides of it. The first would be the day-to-day -day routines that we do. Uh, going out, checking on the plants, making sure that the health is correct, checking on the soil moisture, making sure there's ample water uh, in the soil and the plant is actually able to get that, that material. The length of the shoots, the growing patterns that's going on in the vineyard, on a level of checking for bugs and mildew and the pest pressure that we could have in the vineyard. And that is a day-to-day -day thing. And then the, the, the other side of it would be kind of like our strategic technology side of it, where we're watching the weather, weather patterns and we're, we're checking for the wind speeds and we're looking for the water quality aspect of things. And we're really going on more of a, a, a theory based uh, for the moment and then we go to imply that each day presents something a little bit different. Um, Mother Nature plays just a big influence on us and, and that ends up being kind of a, a struggle for us from time to time. What I like most about my job is the fact that my office is a small little room but really the, in the grand scheme of themes the office is, ends up being about a 1500 acre ranch. So when I'm not at work on the weekends, uh, you can catch us going up and down the highway with the truck and the horse trailer. Uh, my wife's uh, family is really into the cutting horse industry and uh, we spend a lot of time at shows and, and have a really good time with her family. And on the other side of the family, uh, my family really enjoys restoring hot rods and one a great passion that we have is restoring woodies. We, we just finished restoring a 1946 Ford Woody, which is a really fun project. It was a great achievement, and uh, it's actually won a couple really great awards here recently. So I've got two kids. They come to work with me from time to time. They really enjoy being out here on the ranch. They're great little dachshunds. I love them to death. They come out here. They hang out with me here on the ranch. They love being in the vineyard and running around.